Hello, what is up, you guys? Today we're going to be doing... Hi. Hi, Zoa. We're going to be doing a little bit of a... Okay. A collections video. I'm packing everything up because we are moving. I already have my makeup, which, by the way, if you guys are interested in, like, makeup collections or anything like that, let me know because I uh, have a lot of stuff. I definitely collected makeup for a long time in my life. Still do, if the packaging is cute enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm packing everything up, so I figured what better time to show you my collection of body sprays. Zoa. Can you not? Please. Thank you. So yeah, I'm just going to be packing them into a bag. I it won't be like a full like review of every fragrance or anything like that. This will just be kind of like a pack with me, but I'll definitely show you everything that I have body mist wise. So yeah, let's get started. So first I have these four. These were from the summer collection. I'll start with summer Bath and Body Works. I like to try to stay organized. I loved this collection. I love the packaging. I do have um, backups of all of these. So I have strawberry soda, which is such a nice strawberry scent. Um, cherry limeade, which is actually one of my favorites for some reason. This makes me so happy. Hi, Zoa. So she's, she's, she's going to bother us for a little bit, but it's never bothering because she's so dang cute, right? Right, Zoa? Yeah. See? Oh my gosh. Stop. But yeah, Cherry Limeade, I like to use fresh out of the shower. Something about that lime scent, and it's so sweet. It smells like candy. I've got Watermelon Lemonade, which I got a backup because I love the packaging of this collection. And Mango Mai Tai, which I really like. It's a very strong, intense mango scent. So yeah, I loved this collection. Next, I have these two. I have Iced Pear Margarita and Hibiscus Guava Fresca. Both really amazing scents. I love these for the summertime. They come out with these during the semi-annual sale a lot. This one's pretty old. This one I just got like during the last semi-annual sale, I think, but this is a really nice collection as well. And these are like some of my favorites for the summertime. Then I have these three. I have Papaya Paradise Co., which is one of my absolute favorites. Such a nice, like aquatic, like juicy scent. It's seriously one of the best. It's like the first fresh scent that I actually liked uh, just because it is so fruity. It doesn't have coconut. It's just perfection. I've got Honeysuckle Peach Tea. This one was a hit or miss for a lot of people. I personally really love this. It has such an authentic peach scent. Then I have Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny, also a really nice one. It has a bit of a, like a suntan lotion guava smell that I love for like the beach or the pool or things like that. Usually I'm not a big fan of like suntan lotion smells, but this one I really do like. Then I have Raspberry Tangerine. It smells like actual juice. Uh, grapefruit Frosé. I love grapefruit scents. Uh, this is a very nice sugary grapefruit, so I really like it. Next, I have these four. These are some of my favorite scents of all time. Happy Vibes, I really like. It's like a citrusy. It has so many different like notes in it. It's just a very good scent. Um, they should definitely bring this one back. Uh, Mau Mango Surf is like one of my favorite mango scents of all time. And then these two are like top favorites. They're so juicy. We've got Dragon Fruit one, and this just has a bunch of like fruity floral scents in there. This is literally one of my favorite summer scents of all time. I actually bought this off Mercari because I used my original one up, but love this one. Now let's talk about these guys. These I kind of just keep in the same spot because they don't really scream a specific season for me. Some of them do, but I still just kind of use them all year round and I really like these. Um, I have A Thousand Wishes, which is just a classic. Love and Sunshine, which is really, really pretty. It's a very nice fresh scent. Um, Mad About You, which is pretty floral, but it's so sweet that I really, really like it. And these two, of course, from this year, Midsummer Dream and Open Sky, both very fresh scents. So I absolutely love these. And I don't like a lot of fresh scents, but these two I really do like. I then have these guys. So I have Strawberry Pumpkin Cake. These are like my foodie type scents. Um, raspberry Jam Donut, Sugar Cherry Crisp, Berry Waffle Cone, Sugar Coated, and Firecracker Pop. This literally smells like a um, Airheads Extreme Gummy, like the sour ones. This smells like a cherry fruit roll up. It's just all my food scents. So when I'm in the mood for smelling like super sweet, this is usually what I go for. These are all my fall scents. I try to keep a slim collection when it comes to seasonal stuff. Just make sure it's just the stuff that I really love and that's all I really keep. So I have pumpkin pecan waffles, blueberry sugar pancakes, crisp morning air, one of my favorites, wrapped in sunshine. I've got golden clementine and amber, white pumpkin and chai, ruby apple and rosewood. And then I have a little happy Halloween, which is the... Um, Oh my gosh, the Vampire Blood Candle, I think. The same smell as that. Absolutely love this. So this is kind of what I have for fall. I try to not add anything unless it's really something I absolutely love. These are all my current Christmas scents. I have Winter Candy Apple, Twisted Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, kind of like the standards. I've got Christmas Cookies, Frosted Winter Woods, which is one of my favorites, even though it is kind of unisex or more masculine. This smells like Christmas tree. I will always want this. I used up one of these and bought another one on Mercari. Mary Berry Christmas, which is safe to say is probably one of my favorites, if not my, my favorite Christmas scent of all time. 
I've got Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle. I've got um, Warm Vanilla Sugar, which I really only use during the holiday season. I've got Winterberry Wonder and then Merry Cookie, which I know so many people think this is the same as Christmas cookies. I don't know. I know it has an extra note, but usually the notes don't really matter um, because they change them up all the time. Not everything that they write on the bottle is everything that's in it. So it could potentially be the same, but honestly, I do smell like a difference in these two. I don't know if my nose is just super sensitive, but this kind of smells like I get that like lemon icing in it. It's slightly like brighter. So I do think they're slightly different, but you know, the world may never know. These are the last of my Bath and Body Works ones. So I have Berry Flirt, Honey Sweetheart. These are just like nostalgic. I barely use these. Um, Sweet on Paris, which I actually got on Mercari. And yeah, such an amazing scent. It smells like macaroons. Highly recommend, although it's really expensive on Mercari. I've got um, Wild Apple Daffodil, which was my like first body mist from Bath and Body Works ever and then I repurchased it on Mercari because I missed it. Something about this I just like so much. And I've got Wild Peach Poppies which uh, came with it on Mercari as a set. I do like this. It's a nice peach scent and I don't know. These I kind of more so display just because I don't know. They're nostalgic, you know? All right, moving on to Victoria's Secret, I have the Radiant Collection. I kept Velvet Petals Radiant, Pure Seduction Radiant, and Love Spell Radiant. This was one of my favorite summer collections they've come out with just because they were all so like juicy and fruity. I absolutely love these. I do have backups of these too. I also have this collection. Uh, this I purchased off Mercari. This one's really cool. It's like a lime candy kind of scent. It's really nice. Um, this one's Oh in Paradise. I think uh, this one, yeah, had nectarine in it. Also a very pretty scent and this one had berries. I wanted this mostly for the packaging. They are really nice scents, like really fresh summery scents, but these, this packaging is, I think, my all-time favorite packaging from Victoria's Secret that has ever come out. I just absolutely love these and I had to have them. I have these four. Uh, this collection was really nice. Splash of Berry and uh, Twist of Watermelon. Twist of Watermelon is one of my all-time favorite. Splash of Berry is okay. It's not my absolute favorite. I've got Punchy Blooms, which I love, and Peach Squeeze. Both of these are absolutely amazing, especially Peach Squeeze. I love these four so much. Uh, when it comes to like summer ones, I also have these two. I have Electric Beach, which is one of my favorites of all time and I also have Tropic Splash which is also one of my favorites. These two are like my top Victoria's Secret scents. There's one more that I will show you but these are like these are it you know. I then have these three. Um, these are more of like my fall scents from Victoria's Secret. Mostly this one. This is like a very fall like berry scent. Forbidden Berries. I absolutely love it. And the La Creme collection was outstanding. The packaging is also so pretty. I have Pure Seduction and Velvet Petals La Creme. These are so freaking nice. I'm trying to go in categories of time of year when I use them. But yeah, love all of these. These then are my Victoria's Secret Christmas ones that have made the cut throughout the years. So I have Pure Seduction Frosted. Velvet Petals Frosted, Fresh Snowfall, and Champagne Petals. These were last year's. I absolutely love all of these. And the packaging for Christmas time is always so freaking cute. So these are all the ones from the baseline that have made the cut that I love. Pure Seduction, Love Spell, Aqua Kiss, Love Addict, and Temptation. These five are like the standards that I always just want to have in my collection. I absolutely love every single one of these. Um, some I like more than others, but they're just so nostalgic to me that I like can't help myself. I think my favorite out of these specific ones is either Aqua Kiss. I really like Love Addict too. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Pure Seduction, mostly for nostalgic reasons. I actually prefer Pure Seduction over Love Spell. This one's just so nostalgic that I just can't help it. Also, the packaging of this is really pretty, but the OG packaging, do you guys remember that? I don't know. Love all of these. These three I keep separate just because they're like more everyday fragrances for me. Temptation Lace. This one is my all-time favorite. The other two I really love, but this has been like a favorite for so long. I'm scared to use it. It also is nostalgic to me. Temptation Lace is so good. It smells like fruity drink with like some florals. Secret Sunrise smells similar to Electric Beach. Also love this one. I have a backup of it. And then Almond Blossom and Oat Milk is kind of what I go for when I'm trying to relax. I absolutely love this one. I was surprised. This is like the only one from this collection that I actually really like. Then I have these two, Cake Confetti and Sugar High, which are just sweet sugary scents. This is my favorite vanilla scent of all time. This one smells like the pink sugar perfume. They're both so good and I just love them. Look at the caps. Like they're so cute. Now this is all I have from Victoria's Secret Pink so far. Um, I'm getting the holiday scents soon, but... Yeah, uh, this is Pink Lemonade, Passion Punch, Berry Pop, and Whipped Dream. I don't keep a lot of Victoria's Secret pink fragrances just because all of them have this like very plasticky cheap smell to them for some reason. So I don't usually like like their fragrances as much, but these um, 
have made the cut, I guess. I really like, especially Pink Lemonade. It's such a fun one. Then I have these four, uh, Bombshell and Bloom, <laughs> Bombshell Seduction, Bombshell, and Bombshell Beach. All these like Bombshell versions and Body Mist just because I love all of them, especially Seduction. I need to pick up the perfume. I'm surprised. Usually I don't like scents like this, but this one's really nice. I also love the packaging of Bombshell Beach. It's so freaking gorgeous and like looks so expensive, but yeah, love these. Uh, these are my three from Body Fantasies, Cupcake Swirl, Cotton Candy, and Vanilla. These are like the three best ones in my opinion. I really like all of these, especially Cotton Candy. This surprised me. It smells like grape hubba bubba gum. I don't know. It's really good. Vanilla I do like. Um, it does have a little bit of an alcohol smell, but this is a compliment getter for sure. And Cupcake, Cupcake Swirl, the new one, is also really good. And the last three body mist type things I have is this Hemp Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon, uh, Brazilian Crush, and this is the Pink Sugar Hair Perfume. And that is everything. This is my bag that is getting moved to our new apartment. And I am done. That is everything. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know which scents you like. If you want a more in-depth collection, I can definitely do that. This was just more so me packing everything up, but it all fits in one bag, so I'm doing good, right? I'll get through it eventually. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.